J Seven Star Bricks. Welcome to another knockoff Lego video. This one is the King version of the Lego set 75308 R2D2 2314 pieces. Uh, this one may have a few more pieces just because the, the Lego set has some bigger pieces that this replaces with smaller pieces. Anyway, I didn't record an intro for this video, so we're just going to talk over this first bit of the video like we're obviously doing now. So you probably didn't need to hear me say that, but you did. So enjoy the video and I will see you at the end.
and insert this in the video somewhere, put together that R2-D2 set. I just want to point out that these are the exact same parts I had problems with on the UCS Millennium Falcon build from King. Uh, and this is a King R2-D2. These clip in here so tight. I could not get them in here while they were on the part. <laughs> I had to take them off and put them on here. And now I'm going to have to put the part on around them. So yeah, these are super tight pins. King makes these ridiculously tight for some reason.
this is bag 12. This stuff was not in bag 12, it was in bag 11. <laughs> and Mark. All right, and it's R2-D2. He's finally finished. Check it out, oh, it's so cool. We'll start down here with the sign. We got the little R2-D2 mini on the 50th Lucasfilm block. It's kind of funny that they printed that block completely spelled right and looking like the original. Then they gave me a crap sticker, which I replaced with this sticker from eBay that looks so much better with the actual information on it. So you get this cool little UCS sign. This is supposedly not a UCS set, but it's got kind of the UCS plaque, but I guess so does the, uh, the $60 probe droid. So we'll forgive it for that. <laughs> Moving on, check out R2-D2. The little detail on the legs. These are cool, these little, these are rubbery tubes. That's pretty neat. Check out all that detail on the front. Very R2-D2 like. Obviously not a smooth round dome because that's hard to do with Lego. I'm sure a mock maker could do it, but Lego can't seem to do that. But he's pretty cool. Look at that, that's pretty neat. Now obviously this isn't Lego, but it's a Lego design. Yeah, uh, R2, man, very cool. Check out some of the features here. So let's see if we can show you this foot thing here. This foot, if you, this middle leg, you can kind of see up in there. There's a space for this leg. So if you kind of maneuver this back upright and then push up on the leg, it'll stick up there. Uh -huh. And then if you tilt the body back, that leg falls down. Now there's a couple of rubber bands in there providing tension against some technique pieces and that's what keeps that up there. And then when you move, these legs are attached into that section. So when you move these and the body, when the body tilts back like that, it releases that tension and drops that leg. Pretty cool, it's a pretty cool little mechanism. I'm probably gonna display it with the leg. Urgh. Doesn't want to tilt back, there we go. Probably gonna display it with the leg down. Come on, you can do it R2, there you go. Um, the head obviously spins around. Whee. There's just a, a piece in there a turret piece attached to the bottom of the head that allows it to spin. Got some smooth plates so there's not a lot of friction there. Uh, and his head here, we've got this little beep boop piece here that comes up. If you turn it, there's a piece that allows it to stay up. So you can turn his head and that stays up. And if you turn it back to the, oh, because if you turn it back to the storage position, It'll drop down in there. Very cool. We've also got, let's see if I can find it, <laughs> the hidden compartment that comes off. And inside we have a little miniature version that's admittedly not great. We got a little miniature version of Luke Skywalker's lightsaber for R2 to uh, shoot up in Return of the Jedi. Well, it does not like to focus on that. There we go. That's all right. I mean, for this scale. And then pop that in there. Now, we do have these two things sticking out on the back here. So if you press those, this one, this side doesn't work as well. It pops this out a little bit. You can go ahead and pop that out more. Uh, the other side works a little better here. That pops out his little arm doohickey here. And you've also got, let's see if I can get these open. You've also got a couple of these blue pieces that move out with the sorted tools that come out. Pretty cool. And that's it. That is R2-D2. Uh, the Lego version's like 200 bucks. And I got the knockoff version for like $80 with shipping. So, yeah, I did not think this was worth it for 200 bucks, but for 80 bucks, it was pretty good. 
Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes. Keep them coming. Leave us a comment below. It helps out the channel. And we'll see you here next time on Summer Star Bricks. Beep boop. Oh, you're out of focus. Beep boop.